So you and I spoke during spring training, and we talked about Bowser and guys trying different grips in spring training, yeah. and they talked about throwing with conviction, and you said that's a very difficult thing to do. But yet, you've now gone back to your early mecha earlier mechanics. Yes. What was that transition back like, and, and how did you find those mechanics? Uh, it, it was a little more difficult to get back to it than I thought originally, honestly, because I spent a whole offseason trying to change it, and uh, the change happened a little easier than I expected. So once I did that for like six to eight months, and then trying, once we realized from the biomechanical analysis that it really wasn't the path to go, uh, switching back was a little harder than I thought. I thought it might just be muscle memory, but going back to it, but I pre-patterned for six to eight months, so it was a little more difficult getting back to it, but after uh, the second half of the season last year and then working on it this off season, it felt back to normal. So so many people, old school people say, oh, the, you know, analytics and yeah. all this stuff that you know that they rely on are ridiculous but yet you said you went back to the biomechanics how did that process work out and like what was the actual process was it watching the video yeah. was it so we have uh, we have great technology nowadays obviously and, and it basically when you're pitching it, it turns you into uh, a skeleton and it shows you how your body's moving and we compared the mechanics that I had changed to versus my old mechanics and you could see visibly see the changes of, of where I was losing power and where about two miles per hour went and it was pretty obvious so it was like hey it's, it's obviously back in your old mechanics so once we started going back to the old way I saw my velo kind of tick back up last year and uh, command got a little better so we just I mean we went with that but it's, it is crazy how it's literally just it's all video and it turned me into a like no uniform just literally a skeleton and that was it so but it, it helped tremendously, and, and I'm thankful that we have that stuff nowadays, for sure. So for someone who's pitched you know, their entire adult life, and pitching is so much feel, yeah. how do you have to now take a step back and remember, okay, from the video, I did this, and, and not yeah. really focus on the feel? Just um, yeah, I, I mean, help watching the video, not just the, the skeleton video, but the actual video of me pitching with those old mechanics definitely helped. Uh, and then once I, I was able to throw like that for a certain period of time, your body does, it will remember what you used to do. You know, it's kind of just repatterning. I repatterning myself to throw the, the other way I was using, and then I just repatterned myself to throw the, uh, the original way. So, but once I got back to that original way, it's crazy how your body's like, oh, that's it. That's how, it, and then it just kind of clicked. So, I mean, it was a process, but we got back to it, and uh, I think I'm better off for it. Was the arm slot different? I mean, what yeah, was the arm, major difference? Arm slot was a little different. It was a little lower, actually, which is why I was having issues with my slider. Uh, my slider was a little flatter and, and not as much depth because I went from, you know, being here just it was a matter of two or three inches, but it makes a huge difference. Uh, and then I was also leaned over a little more, like my trunk was, was a little more bent instead of being tall and in more of a powerful position. So those two things were the main were the main culprits we think and then getting back to the, the glove side that I was I do now helped me kind of stay taller and raise my arm slot back a little higher. Leslie, who was the person that actually pinpointed the difference? It was uh, it was a Hef and uh, we had a guy our sports scientist last year his name was Dean Little he uh, he's works with the Phoenix Suns now he took a new job but he was with us for a couple years and he was really really good about all that stuff and he um, just looked at all the biomechanics and, and was very in tune with all that and he called me in one day and he'd been watching about the first month of the season comparing the biomechanics kind of bigger sample size and then once he realized like hey this is this is what the issue is he called me in and we talked about it and we went from there so uh, kudos to him for staying on top of it and, and noticing it because I, I noticed the velo drop but you don't really notice those small little differences when you're pitching so so for all those people that didn't know why the sports scientist was on the yeah. line for opening day there you yeah, go there you go yeah he's important very important yeah.